What's going on, y'all boys? It's your boy Gallows Reaper, aka Rap Static, aka that nigga. Now, just to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? For y'all to know me personally through Facebook and school and shit like that, I've been a busy motherfucker, right? So, just to show y'all, I ain't even stayed on top of this shit. You can tell my, my listeners just went to the tanks. But, I've done a lot of shit these past couple of years, dog. You know, and I, I typically um, don't even air it out as much. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, y'all know that I've been uh, trying to... <clears throat> work on suppressing this ego of mine for a minute so when i get on certain shit and it's time to attack certain motherfuckers for what they did and shit like that i'm on it but i will tell you this i've been very very busy getting myself straight you know what i'm saying getting working on me um not so much not not as much on the music side of shit or whatever you know what i mean but just to let y'all know for the motherfuckers that don't believe that I've been doing this shit for the last couple of years, like, do some research, man. Come on, bro. Like, the popular motherfuckers is falling, and there's proof of that. And this is why they wouldn't, for motherfuckers that really do grind, they don't pay you no attention, because you're not down with the get down. And this is proof of it right here. Look at all the shit that I've done, bro. From... I'm going to start from the beginning. Like, this is not really the beginning for me. This is the beginning of my record deal. This was, like, 2017. Um, and I'm, I'm still technically currently a part of Bentley Records. I just haven't even released anything else this year. We had so much crazy shit going on here in 2020. So I'm like, yo, fuck it. I'm just going to focus on survival, staying positive, uh, um, 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 you know, meditation and shit like that. Like, some, I'm on some new shit, bro. Like, straight up. Like, some new shit. Um, empowerment, you know, focus on your family, focus on love for one another, shit like that, man, just simple shit, bro, not even that complicated, but, just to show y'all, you can go to Spotify right now, you don't even have to buy a Spotify account, you can go to Spotify right now and pull my shit up, just type in Rap Static, this shit will pop up, you can listen to every fucking song that I did from singles to uh 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 to album i mean to eps to albums straight up out the gate you know even down to my little slight beef with some of my uh homeboys and shit about various things i, I air all that shit out dog. like i air all that shit out you know um i don't candy coat shit um when it comes to my creativity, I put it out. I think the only cover here, like you guys see the cover, the only cover here that um I did not design myself is the Gunny Man cover. That's the one I let Bentley Records do for me. And I like the I like the cover, but it wasn't it wasn't fitting my creativity. You know what I'm saying? So what no you can go ahead and draw on that that's fine okay. draw on the papers too inside it daddy don't need that but all in all okay. all right all in all all these other designs right here i did those using photoshop couple of pictures that you know you know so they won't say i'm like taking a shit and all that I, I i i use various techniques to make sure that it's a unique picture at the end of it you know, the grind every day, I did the close-up, black and white, the, the picture, and added contrast to, you know, make it pop and shit. Like, I did all of that shit, man. The des all the way down to the design of, of my, my logo for Rap Static with the RS and shit. Like, like cut it out. When y'all niggas talking about somebody ain't doing nothing, y'all not doing your research. You just being hating ass niggas. Like, straight up. Like, cut it out, man. Cut it out. But I've been doing this, you know, and if I wanted to, I could have, you know, done some deeper things to get in. But I know what these motherfuckers was doing, at least on a spiritual level, somewhat. I knew what they were doing. So I didn't want to push to get into that shit. So that's why I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? But I does this shit, man, with this music shit. 
I does this shit. Look at this. I'm, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. When I started with Bentley Records, I've been doing music since I got out of college in, 0, in 07. It, pretty much 06, before I got out of college. Shout out to my dog. Uh, shout out to my dog, Farai and Farai. Y'all know who y'all is, man. I'm not going to put your whole name out. You might not want it out. Um, but shout out to my niggas that, you know, we was doing creative shit when we was at Claflin University. We was doing creative shit when we was at school, you know. Um, and I got to thank the the uh, the eighth president of, of Claflin University, Henry N. Tisdale, and RIP to Alice Carson Tisdale, who was my, I call her my second mother. I learned all this shit in Claflin. Being creative. I didn't learn it from a class, but I learned it from understanding the concept of teaching yourself shit. And, you know, right now, as a planet, we're going to have to reset. we got to hit the whole reset button on everything we learned because that shit was lies. But that's another subject for another time. But I went to Claflin, and I learned, you know, I had fun doing the music. They were showing me different shit. They were showing me how to, uh, uh, you know, line up the songs and shit. At least start on mastering it. I got introduced to FL Studio. I was a rookie then, bruh. And then at that time, I, I, I was actually putting music together for my thesis, which was like a, a, a um, Flash video game. Back when Flash was, was big in the computer. In the, in the computer um, during the time, like Windows, what was it? Windows 7? I didn't want to say 7. I think before 7. Windows XP and Windows uh, Vista was out. While I was in school. So during this time, you know, we was focused on flash programming and, and all that shit. And that's when I was fucking with it. Like, if you want to um, see what that shit was really about, um, just check out uh, it's a website called Newgrounds. Newgrounds.com. It's a bunch of shit on there. Like some, some like creative flash shit. Like, it's just a bunch of shit from music to flash shit and all that. But um, that's what I was on. So... That's how I started doing the music shit. And then I, when I got out of school, I started fucking with it, fucking with it. And then, got to this shit. Now, I've been doing my own shit for a while. You know, 10 years plus. This ain't no fly-by-night type of shit. And all these songs I've been doing, I'm going to skip ahead from about 2007 to 2017. 2017 is when I got the record deal with Bentley Records. I got that record deal started, and I worked on my first album, which was Shop Treatment. I worked on my album, which was Shop Treatment, and when I worked on that album and got done with that album, I put it out, and that was the first album through Bentley Records. And all the shit I was putting out, nobody paid that shit no attention because I'm the nigga that most people already knew. Like niggas be saying, you ain't going to get no love in your hometown, my nigga. Them niggas just going to hate you for that shit that you accomplishing. I've been doing this shit. But moving on. After that, I did uh, the Haters and Liars album. I ran into some beef. Some some people, you know, that I thought was my friends had turned and shit. And, and I just start airing niggas out. You know what I'm saying? With the with the vocals. I just start airing niggas out. And that that's how I felt at the time. I was going through some shit. So I had one one side of me was going through the bullshit. And as you can tell on the album cover, it's a split album cover. On the left side, you see the dark the dark shit, what people saying about me behind my back and shit. And on the right side, you see the angel angelic rising, meaning it doesn't fucking matter what people do against me. I'm not going to let it stop me. And then you see the fire at the bottom. That's the clash. That's the constant clashing of the two forces. All my shit got meaning to it, bruh. All my shit do. And then I got the logo at the top with me and the crown. You know, so... Meaning it doesn't matter what a person says or does against me. It's not going to stop me from being a king. It's not going to stop me from succeeding. And I put that shit in the music. You know? I put that shit in the music. Uh, then next, I did uh, 2019. Early. Early, early. I did Prodigal King. Shout out the main individual, too. He was on one of the uh, one of my tracks for, uh, for a feature. You know? 
And my dog, whenever that shit pop, pop, we 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 gonna be getting this money regardless. But we still, it, it was a pleasure working with y'all boys, man, on that shit. That shit was, that shit was fun. It was cool. And y'all can use the song whenever y'all want. If y'all hear in the video, it's y'all song just as much as mine. So, um, but yeah, I did a lot of shit. Like I got songs on there, no trust, with how. I'm talking about how motherfuckers can't be trusted from relationships to 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 the clergyman, to the, to the government. Like you, you can't trust that shit. You can't, you know. Niggas need to pay attention. In my uh GOMD video, I'm talking about how motherfuckers keep fucking with me and I'm telling them get off my, you know what? Like get the fuck off me. Why y'all fucking with me? Why y'all, you know, uh 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 hating so hard and I ain't did nothing against y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's like some just some some traitor and shit niggas be on, you know. Um, fuck that. The song called "Fuck That." You know what I'm saying? And uh, my crown, where I'm shouting out, you know where I'm from, Patterson, New Jersey, and shit. And you know um, how no matter where I go or where I be at, I still represent that community, like. Shit, that's where I'm from, nigga. That's where I, that's where I'm from. That's where I'm repping. That's where I'm from. Shit, it don't fucking matter if I go to another planet. I'm still repping Patterson, New Jersey, bro. I'm I'm from there. Like, come on. But all in all, <clears throat> you know that was that 2019. So we, right now we got three albums, right? Three albums. Uh, EP, I count it as an album too, but okay, it's five tracks on this, so I ain't really gonna count it as an album, that's cool. EP, three albums, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen singles. And I still got more in the chamber to let off on niggas' asses. I got seven tracks right now I could put out right now, you know, right now. But, you know, like I said, I'm more focused on, you know, empowering myself spiritually and, and, you know, getting on my computer grind. I'm building custom computers and shit like that right now. So, if you want to holler at me on that, just hit me up. You know, gallowsreaper at gmail.com. G-A-L-L-O-S-R-E-A-P-E-R at gmail.com. And, you know, I could... Show it off to you. Let you see what's going on. I might do a couple videos on how they look and how they play and shit. With that being said, don't just think that because you see you see me at work, you see me, you know, doing doing regular shit, that I'm a regular ass nigga. This it can't be farther from the truth. I'm way above the bar on a lot of these niggas. I'm way above the bar on a lot of shit. I know a lot of a lot of shit people don't even want to believe right now, but y'all gonna have to wake up to it. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I can't force you to drink. You know what I mean? Like when it come to knowledge, I can't force y'all. But once I figured out certain shit, I was like, yo, I don't really need to do this shit. Now, do I still do the music? Hell yeah, but. My my intentions for doing the music is much different now. I'm running the podcast, doing shows like right here on YouTube and shit, and, and, and you know I'm I'm grinding in different ways, building computers and turning around, making more money off it and all that shit. So, with that being said, I'm not worried about how popular I am and how much pop that shit don't mean nothing to me, bro. It don't mean shit. I already proved to myself. That I could do the music shit. You see it right here. I got three, four albums. Three albums and an EP. I could do four right now if I want to. I got seven tracks ready to go fully done. You know, so. Like I said, I'm just waiting for. Um, I could go independent. I'm just waiting for. Um, uh, Bentley Records. To finish up. You know, whatever they saying they're going to finish up. What the hell is this? Whatever they say, they're going to finish up or whatever. So, um, I got to see. So, all in all, it's not about, you know, trying to chase, you know, getting money is important. It's very important. 
but it's not always all about the money. Sometimes it's about your legacy, what you want to do. See, my purpose in life is to break the stigma. I want to be able to do shit that motherfuckers say they can't do or it's impossible. I'm going to make sure I try to do that shit. Attempt to do it. Make it happen. Now, back in 2006, could I have told you that I would have made damn near four albums and counting? Or just non-stop go at your throat hip-hop? No. You know? Could I tell you that I, I approach this shit with a creativity where motherfuckers would want to copy my shit? No. I, and, and if you ask my sister, she'll tell you. When I was little, I didn't even fuck with rap music at all. I didn't even like it. It wasn't my type of shit. This was back when Biggie and Pac was rapping hard. I wasn't even fucking with this shit back then. You know, I was only in the games. That was it. You know, but... That's what it was. So if you want to check it out, um, just go to Spotify. You can check it out there. I got more than that shit. You know, I, I'll show you some other shit. Hold on. I'll show you some other shit. Let's do, uh, let's do, uh, let's do Spotify. Not Spotify. Let's do, um, what's the name of that shit? SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? Let's check SoundCloud. You know what I mean? I'll show you. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. You know? I'm on it. I got a whole lot of shit. Try mastering for free. I don't care about that. You know? I got King Kells. Uh, we'll see what's going on with that, brother. Dope Flow Repos. I didn't check this shit in like a month. February. I'm up for it. Send me the details. Uh, that might be a little ploy or whatever. Bot. Fucking bot. You know, and I got songs on SoundCloud that, you know, it's some of my newer shit. One called That Level, Never By Myself, That Get Back, Fresh Out of Hell, Hit Em, Hater, Still Broke is on the EP, Fire is on the uh, Haters and Liars album, No Judas Instrumental, I put the instrumental on here because, you know, if you want to hear the drama shit, you got to go to the album straight up, I ain't even about to air, air niggas out on a bunch of channels now after I done damn near squashed it uh who, who run it remix you know uh let's see what else what else um I got some of my old shit too that I I, I did before the before the record deal I put the whole album on this bitch um I forgot the name of this shit I called it I forgot what I called it but um, I think it's like, it's a good bit of tracks. Uh, I got a song called The Black Neo. I was talking about a lot of shit that's going on right now, not even knowing. Like, subconsciously, I just put the shit out. Like, I already, like, I felt it coming. It's, it's almost like as if I felt the shit coming. But, um, got one called A Thousand Bees. I bet some niggas thought I was scraped blood off that one. Um, I was, I'd be going hard, you know. But, just to let y'all know, I'm not affiliated with no gang shit, but I will go gangster if a motherfucker fuck with me. That's just how it is. That's just what it is. But I'm cool with everybody that's cool with me. That's the way I am, bro. That's just the type of nigga I am. But um, I got the 0 to 100 static mix. I got the hot nigga remix. Um, I got a song called Pimp Game. Um, and it's not what y'all think it is. It's pretty much, I should have called it player game, but I call it pimp game. Um, end of the system. Just some real creative shit. I even got some other songs called, um, Try Me Now. I'm about to shout out my boy, uh, uh, Killer G, Ant. You know what I'm saying? 
he he be coming out with them hits too. You know what I'm saying? So shout out my boy Ant. And he got that knowledge too. So don't let don't let the street shit fool you. This nigga got knowledge on what's going on, you know, and I respect that. Cause he was one of the first ones to to put himself on the hook, letting me know about a lot of shit I wasn't aware of. So shout out to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Ant. You know, Killer G. Um and the music that he got, that shit fire too. I like that shit a lot. So yeah, uh, go check him out too if you haven't. Um, but that's what I got, man. I got, I, I'm on that. I'm on, you know, and like I said, I got my profile on it with, with my real name on there, real picture. I ain't hiding from shit. I ain't scared of shit. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I let y'all know who I am. You know what I mean? And uh, I be on it. Shit. That's all I got to say on that. So. If you like what you see, support your boy, man. And and I got a. Uh, let me show you something else before I go. I got I got some shit going on Teespring, uh, with the merch. You know what I mean? I got a lot of shit on Teespring with the merch. And uh, let me just show you real quick. Boom. You know what I'm saying on the Rap Static store. And it's more than just shirts. So when y'all see this, I got a bunch of products on the list at different prices, different designs, different colors. Just because you see it all black doesn't mean they're all black. They're not all in black. All right. Um, like premium T-shirts with the Rap Static uh, logo on it, $23.99. You know what I'm saying? Women's shirt, same price. You can pick what size you want. We got. I got like the long sleeve t-shirts for 25. You know what I'm saying? I might run some sales on that though soon. Um fleece, everything fleece blankets, women's flowy tank tops, Samsung cases, mugs, you know, shit. Uh regular sweaters, leggings, you know what I'm saying? Pullover hoodies, baby onesies. Uh, 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 shit, what else, what else, I mean, you know, this dude, this was the first design, the Rap Static design that I did, then I did another one, with the don't, with the be great, not just good, I got two of those shirts right now, I gotta, I gotta, matter of fact, I gotta give one to my homeboy, I still owe him one, um, sweatshirt, sweaters, or hoodies and shit with it on it, like, come on, man, this is what I do, see what it said, be the studio, that means don't go to the damn studio paying them a bunch of money for your shit. Pay $21.99, get this shirt, and be your own studio, bruh. Or hit me up. I'll help you out. I'll give you a nice discount on, on, on you know, recording your music and shit if you want to do that. Raise your vibration. That's very important right now. That's the newest one I did. I just did this one yesterday on everything. Raise your vibration. Hoodies, all that shit. I even got the mask with it. Even though I don't fully support the mask, it, it will help. If it'll help protect you, then yeah, put it on. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We'll, we won't have long to put it on anyway. So just put it on till the shit go away, then throw that shit away. And then cancel 2020 when we out of it. So, you know. Uh, even got pillows with it on there. Raise your vibration. Pillows on there. You know what I'm saying? White shirts. Now, I, now on the raise your vibration... Uh, shirts, I only have that in white. I only have that in white right now because I just designed that. But um, I may do some more designs on that as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, you can get that shit on everything. Tank tops, phone shit, whatever. All that shit, man. All that shit. And it does not cost to do this. So if you're thinking, okay, I can do my own shirt shit. Yeah, you can. You can go right on this website and design your own shirts and your own merchandise and sell it. And get profit off it. You don't always have to just go to work to get paid, bro. Like, you got to know what you're doing. You just got to come out here and know what you're doing. Put work in. You can't be lazy with it. You know, and I, I, I'll admit, I've even been kind of slouch with it. Because I was supposed to have more designs than this. But when I get creative, I just put it out. I just I just put it on there, put it out. You know what I'm saying? You can get an iPhone case with it on there. Raise your vibration. Boom. You know what I'm saying? 
women's boyfriend tee, the little, the look, the the, the 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 snug t-shirts for the girls and shit. You know, or young ladies or whatever. You know, me, I like the regular like t-shirt type of shit. You know, I don't really fuck with the V-necks, but I designed it for all that shit. And I just showed off a couple of different um colors with these to show that you got you can get them in different colors. But once you click on it, you can sh you'll see that it's on different. You can do different um. You could do different colors and shit. You know, I'm gonna click on one just to see, just to show y'all. You can get it in any color you want. Which one here? Yeah, this the sweater right here. You can switch it to any color you want. Boom. Boom. Pink, purple, gray. I pick colors that match it to make sure that it work out. As simple as that. And then all you got to do is order it right there. It'll go straight to your house. You don't even have to contact me unless you got an issue with... Uh, with the order, well, not even the order itself, because if you got an issue with the order, you contact Teespring, and they will, they will um, fix it for you. That's part of my agreement with them. So, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is on that. But that's what I've been doing once I got out of school. I wasn't just bullshitting like some niggas think, but really, to be honest with you, I don't care what niggas think. It doesn't matter. That's why I be doing this shit. I, I go hard. So, just a little motivation for people that's down and out and correction for people that's hating. But, for me, it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep pushing. I got other things I'm going to do, too. I'm going to add to it. And, um, right now, I got three computers ready to go. Um, and if you want some details on that, just hit me up. Especially if you uh, know me from Facebook or whatever. Or leave a comment in the bottom of the video letting me know. Uh, what's up if you want to uh, you know see what's going on with these computers but I will put post those soon so appreciate everybody that stuck around thanks for watching and I'm out